Okay, I'm going to be super excited to give you this series of lectures on The Stranger uh, by Albert Camus. This is one of the uh, most influential books of the 20th century, a sort of book that on the surface is incredibly simple and straightforward, but actually has underneath it many, many, many different layers of philosophical criticism. Uh, it was written in 1942. It's considered a great existentialist work, even though Camus himself uh, wasn't a huge fan of that existentialist term. Uh, but in many ways, it does sort of match elements of that philosophy, and it raises all sorts of questions uh, about freedom, justice, fate, free will, reality, truth, God, all of it. Okay, so um, we're going to work our way through it uh, one little bit at a time and try to unpack some of what's here and figure out what all we've got. Uh, at its basic core, uh, this simply told book, uh, translated from the French, follows the experience of our main character, uh, Mersal, who's sort of a, you know, a, a stoical type fellow. He's disengaged, he's unemotional, he doesn't really care what other people think, he just sort of lives his life on his own terms. And that gets him into some certain degree of trouble. Uh, the book is broken into two parts, two relatively equal sized halves. The first part uh, sometimes seems to readers uh, at first blush to be a little bit slow. He's just sort of going through the motions of his days. There's not a lot of, you know, action or commentary or anything like that. But rest assured, Everything that happens in the first half of the book is really just profound setup for the things that are going to be happening in the second half of the book, that a lot of these issues come back and have an effect on him. So the way that these uh, lectures are going to go are going to be a little bit different from the other ones, uh, because since this book is so wide open to interpretation, and these lectures, rather than you know necessarily spelling out this is what this means, it's going to be sort of more along the lines of me just asking questions, uh, introducing themes, and sort of seeing where that thought process takes you on your own. Uh, a key thing to remember when uh, approaching this book is to go slow, to take your time, realize that everything that happens in the book is on purpose. Uh, there's no accidents in here. Uh, and think really sort of deeply. Uh, everything in the book is symbolic and philosophical in its own sort of greater context. So even if something seems unimportant at face value, know uh, that there's a richness to it. Uh, one critic, in fact, actually said that The Stranger was a book in which to even begin to uncover uh, the sort of questions that it raises and the possible interpretations, you would have to write a whole other book uh, of just about the same length. Uh, so that's something that you'll want to keep in mind when you're approaching this work.